Understanding diversity more than just a buzzword. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a term that you've probably heard many times but might not fully understand, diversity. It's a word that's as important as it is complex. And by the end of this video, you'll not only grasp its meaning but also appreciate its significance in our world. So, let's dive in and unravel the layers of diversity. At its core, diversity refers to variety or the presence of differences within a certain context. When we talk about diversity, particularly in society, we're referring to the mix of people from various backgrounds, cultures, ages, genders, and so on. It's the acknowledgement that each individual is unique and that there is immense value in this uniqueness. But diversity isn't just about ticking boxes or having a range of different people in a room. It's about how these differences contribute to a richer, more creative, and more effective environment. Whether it's in a school, workplace, or community, embracing diversity means recognizing the value of each person's unique perspective and experience. Let's break down diversity into some key types. 1. Cultural diversity. This encompasses the various cultures, languages, and traditions that people bring to the table. It's a celebration of cultural differences and an effort to understand and respect them. 2. Racial and ethnic diversity. It's about including people of different races and ethnicities, acknowledging the history, experiences, and contributions of each race and ethnicity. 3. Gender diversity. This type involves a balance across genders, challenging traditional roles, and supporting equality. 4. Age diversity. This refers to the spread of ages within a group, valuing the insights and experiences of different generations. 5. Neurodiversity. A relatively new term that recognizes and respects neurological differences, like those seen in autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, and others. 6. Socioeconomic diversity. This highlights the inclusion of people from different economic and social backgrounds. These are just a few examples, but diversity can encompass many other aspects, including sexual orientation, education, physical abilities, and more. So why does diversity matter? It's because diversity brings about innovation and creativity. Diverse groups are more likely to come up with unique solutions and ideas. Better decision-making. With more perspectives, groups can make more informed decisions. Cultural enrichment. Understanding different cultures broadens our own perspectives. Economic growth. Diverse workplaces perform better and are more competitive globally. Social justice and equality. Promoting diversity is key to creating fair and equitable societies. How can we embrace diversity in our daily lives? Here are some simple steps. Educate yourself. Learn about different cultures and perspectives. Be open-minded. Be willing to change and challenge your own views. Communicate. Talk to people from different backgrounds and listen to their experiences. Challenge stereotypes. When you see stereotypes, question them and spread awareness. Remember, diversity isn't just about others, it's about us too. Recognizing the diversity within ourselves is the first step towards appreciating it in others. I hope this video has opened your eyes to the rich tapestry that diversity weaves in our lives. It's not just a concept to understand, it's a reality to be lived and appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts on diversity. Keep learning, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.